Hello and welcome back to another video in our SQL Server installation process. And uh, we're on part number three. We're making our way down the line. And in this case, we're gonna be focusing on installing a second instance of analysis services, right? Uh, this is only, literally, this is only going to be needed if you are gonna be taking any classes or training or anything around multi-dimensional analysis services. Otherwise, you don't need to do this, right? Basically, the part one and part two, critical for anything just SQL Server database related. Um, there's gonna be some other ones you might wanna go into, but this is strictly for multi-dimensional analysis services. So, if you need it, you need it. If you don't, you don't. So, this process is actually gonna be a summarized version of what we actually did in the first one, part one, we're actually going to need to run through the installer because if you remember, we went through that process and when it came to choosing in th the installation of analysis services, we could only choose one or the other. So as part of our default instance, we have tabular mode analysis services already good to go. If we wanted to, we could launch SQL Server Management Studio, choose the analysis services engine. And if we use just the local host connection, right? Period, local, local host, the name of your machine, it would log in and you'd be connected to your instance of tabular analysis services. What we're gonna need to do is install a new instance, right? We can't use the default. There can only be one instance of analysis service. So we're going to go through the process, choose to install analysis services, but we can't add it to our existent MS SQL Server instance. We're gonna have to give it a different name. And the name that I generally go with is MOLAP, M-O-L-A-P, Multidimensional on, um, Online Analytical Processing. So that's what this is really referred to. When you see MOLAP, that's what we're talking about. So referring to MOLAP is very common when referring to multidimensional analysis services. So that's what we're going to be moving through the process. And that's what I'm going to use to name mine. So when we launch SSMS, when it's all said and done, we can choose to connect to our analysis services engine. And then I just type in MOLAP, the name of the instance, we'll be good to go. So that's the plan. So I'm going to sneak away from the PowerPoint slide here. We're going to basically just launch the installer like we've done in the last two, right? So wherever your install files are, just go to that location, hit that setup, and bring up that installation dialog once again. Now, there is a possibility, right, if you've just been doing this back to back to back to back, that when you go here and hit installation, and you choose that new SQL Server instance, which is what we want, remember it does a check. It does a check of what's available. And some of those services that we installed do require a restart of your machine. So once this goes through the process of launching the setup itself, the installer, which does a check, you might see some failures that say, hey, this requires you to restart your machine. So when this pops up, if yours has that little X and it says it requires a restart, just pause. You can see it's doing it right now for me. I'm good to go. If we had any rules right here, it would tell me, oh, you got to restart, but I'm good to move forward. If you have any issues or errors, check it out, resolve it. More than likely, it's going to be a restarting of your machine. So, you know, obviously you're going to just pause this, do that, come on back. So let's keep on moving. We're going to go ahead and hit next. Now it says here, do I want to perform a new installation? And you're like, oh no, this this like seems like something we want to do. Add features to an existing service. I mean, there it is, right? The problem is if we do this, we can't. The only thing we could add here is like whatever we excluded. So if we go through this process, like we didn't do the Azure extension to this instance. Well, we could go through and do it now. If we go to feature, well, let me actually deselect it so I can keep moving so we can see it. If we go to feature selection, you see everything's checked except for machine learning because we left that off. But you can see, I can't do anything when we go through this process for like analysis services. I, I don't get the choice of choosing a tabular versus multidimensional. So once again, even though it might you might think that adding features is what we want, we're actually going to be performing. So I'm going to perform a new installation, which as you can see, it's going to give us those options we want. I'm going to move through. Um, I'm going to keep it as a development edition. So once again, we're repeating what we've done. End user license agreement. We did this in part one. I'm going to once again omit the extension for uh, the Azure extension and for features for this instance, I'm simply going to go ahead and uh, choose analysis services. That's all we want. You technically could have an entirely separate database engine instance, but we don't need that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and choose just analysis services. 
Uh, it's going to go through, kind of do a feature rules check on this. So if there's any issues, it would tell me. And notice it basically automatically went over to named. It wouldn't let me do this. If I would try to continue, it would tell me you already have something named that's right. So there's a problem, right? So it's not going to let me. It's already in use. So we're going to go named instance. And once again, I am going to go with Molap. If you'd like to go ahead and give this instance name something separate, go ahead and give that a call. I just give both the instance and the instance ID, just that name here. So Molap, Molap, that's the way I go about it. And then we're going to see under server configuration, uh, we're going to keep this pretty basic here. Just the services that are going to be responsible for running this instance of analysis services. We're going to leave that as those default. And now we get to choose. And since we already have tabular, I'm going to switch this one to multidimensional and simply add myself here. We still can use just this, you know, SSMS is just a user interface. So we can just use that and decide, am I going to connect to tabular or do I want to connect to multidimensional? And the cool part is I really didn't show it. I'll show it off this time. You can connect to multiple instances on the left and it's kind of just a navigator there. So we'll see that in a moment. So let's add us, make sure we have ourselves as administrators. We can go ahead and hit next. And we're already ready to install. So that's it. Just go ahead. We're going to give this new Molap instance, which is just going to have the analysis services engine for multidimensional. So it goes through. It's going to move through this process. This, of course, will be quicker than when you did the full installation. But still, I'm not going to have you sit here and wait. So we'll go ahead and uh, pause this and we'll be right back. And we're already right back. That was really quick. So once again, if there's any errors or issues, those messages will appear here for you to resolve. So make sure you go through that process. But now we have analysis services multidimensional installed on our machine. So if we go ahead, I'm going to hit close here. I'm going to bring up SQL Server Management Studio, right? We use that in the part two video. That's where we installed it. But we leveraged in that example to look at our database engine. Here, I'm going to connect to our analysis services engine and show that we have two instances of analysis services. So I'm going to hit the drop down. I'm going to hit analysis services. And I'm just going to this time around just leave it to the default name of my computer, Quintana One. And as you can imagine, when we connect here, this is the tabular analysis services instance, right? There's no real indicator right here at the top that it says tabular. Um, but if you were to go in, I think they do have something in the properties to remind you of the mode. Yeah, there you go. Tabular. Uh, the icon also, this is kind of the icon that is utilized when it comes to um, using tabular. That little uh, guy right here, this like, I don't even know. I don't know how to describe it, but that little blue kind of pane that's kind of divided, that's your tabular icon. Um, so that's here. Now, once again, it's a fresh instance, so there's no databases. There are database instances, like you can do a restore here as well. Um, you just have to go and locate those uh, file types and have those installed. So I believe these are the ABF file extensions, um, but you just acquire those. Uh, any classes that we leverage this, we provide that for you. There are some... Uh, there are some adventure works, tabular uh, backup files that you can locate online, but you'd go through the same process here. As you can see, when it hits restore, you browse for it, you choose it. It's just like what we did in part two. But this is tabular. What about multidimensional? So you can stay connected to this and you can connect to another item, right? So I just hit connect here. I'm going to choose analysis services, but this time around, I'm going to put in the name of the instance that I remember, Molap. And when we connect here, we're going to see that now we're going to be connecting to multidimensional analysis services. Actually, let's see here. It may require a restart of this process. So let me check and see on that. And actually it was a small lapse of, of my brain. Right. What we did was we installed a new instance, but it's still part of the host machine of us. So what we need to do is here is Molap actually gets added in to the name of this. So for us, what we can do is the name of our machine. Remember how it had Quintana one in here? That's mine. Whatever you had for default, you can leave that there. And you simply have to do a backslash, right? Just as you can see here on the screen. And that's where we put Molap, right? So name of the instance itself, so Quintana 1, specifically, it's going to be Molap. And you can see there's a very real difference in the exact, um, the, the icons here. 
If you right click and go to the properties, you can see this is a multi-dimensional, uh, so different type of database structure. So that's all you have to do. So small reminder, just leave that name of the instance itself and add in our named aspect at the end of it. So Cantana One Molap for me. So whatever you had for defaults, that's going to be there. So, and generally it does remember these entries. So you'll see this drop down. We'll kind of remember items you've connected to before, but there you can see. And you and, and the nice part is you can keep going. If you wanted to connect back to your SQL Server instance now, their SQL Server, here's analysis services multidimensional. So it's all right here. So it's kind of neat how you can move through these different types of uh, services, these engines, all in one place. So there and ready to go. So if you did follow along with me, because you are going to be doing some work using multidimensional analysis services, hopefully you got that set, easy to kind of understand and go through. And you're ready to go and start learning some uh, multi-dimensional analysis services. So hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.